So, Baidu just made a bold move in the AI arms race. And it's not just another model drop, it's a strategic shift aimed at shaking the foundations of China's AI market. On April 25th, Baidu officially introduced two upgraded models, Ernie 4.5 Turbo and Ernie X1 Turbo. And let me tell you, these models are turning heads not just because of their performance, but also because of their pricing. Now, for those of you who've been following Baidu's AI journey, you'll know this isn't some sudden pivot. Their Ernie series dates back to 2019 when the first model outperformed even Google and Microsoft on the Glue benchmark. That version used a clever strategy, masking strings of characters rather than individual words, which made it a powerhouse in Chinese language understanding while still holding its own in English. Fast forward to today, and Baidu's AI infrastructure is handling over one and a half billion API calls daily. That's a seven and a half times increase in usage, which says a lot about how deeply these models are embedded across industries now. So what's new with Ernie 4.5 Turbo and X1 Turbo? First off, they're fast, smart, and ridiculously cheap, especially compared to the competition. Ernie 4.5 Turbo comes in at only 11 cents per 1 million input tokens and 44 cents for output. That's roughly 40% of the price of DeepSeek V3, which was considered a solid contender until now. Meanwhile, the X1 Turbo model is priced just a bit higher, 14 cents for inputs and 55 cents for outputs, but it still undercuts DeepSeek R1 by around 25%. But price isn't the only headline here. Performance-wise, Baidu's new turbo models are firing on all cylinders. Uni 4.5 Turbo scored an average of 77.68 on benchmark tests for multimodal tasks. To put that in perspective, GPT-40, the much-hyped multimodal release from OpenAI, scored 72.76. So yeah, Baidu's model actually outperformed GPT-40 in that category. These models are built for serious work, multimodal understanding, logical reasoning, creative writing, and even image analysis. They integrate seamlessly with tools and APIs through Baidu's Kian Fan platform, making them a solid choice for developers, enterprises, and researchers. X1 Turbo in particular is all about deep reasoning. It's essentially an upgraded brain sitting on top of 4.5 Turbo, enhancing chain of thought capabilities and tool calling. And if you're wondering how this all fits into the bigger picture, this is Baidu aligning itself tightly with China's national AI strategy. Beijing has been pushing hard to make China the global AI leader by 2030, and Baidu's a centerpiece in that plan. They're not just any tech company, they were chosen to lead the National Engineering Lab of Deep Learning. That kind of institutional backing doesn't just come with money, it also comes with data access, research talent, and long-term policy support. Private investment in generative AI in China exploded from $650 million in 2023 to over $3.1 billion in 2024. And Baidu is right at the center of that storm, with over 4,300 AI companies now active across China and an AI market valued above $70 billion, there's serious momentum. And with tech giants like Alibaba and Tencent racing to launch their own advanced models, like Tencent's Hunyan T1, the competition is fierce. Everyone's scrambling for market share, and Baidu is playing both the long and short game, drive down prices to increase adoption today while investing in next-gen models to dominate tomorrow. During Baidu's Create 2025 developer conference, Robin Lee, Baidu's founder, doubled down on the importance of choosing the right base model and fine-tuning it for real-world applications. According to him, multimodal models are the future. Pure text models are already on their way out. This is why both turbo models now support text, image, and logic-based inputs and they've been tuned for diverse scenarios, from education to finance to healthcare. But it doesn't stop there. Baidu also showed off something that honestly feels straight out of a sci-fi movie, a hyper-realistic digital anchor system powered by their Wenshin models. It's called Quope Hue Boxing, and it lets you clone yourself or anyone else for live broadcasting. You just record a two-minute video and boom! An AI-powered version of you, complete with facial expressions, emotions, and gestures, is ready to go live. And it doesn't just sit there. It thinks. It reacts in real time, changes tone, shows visuals, even switches roles during a broadcast. 
One person can now run an entire marketing team with the help of one AI anchor. So whether you're selling beauty products on a live stream, hosting an educational channel, or launching a game promo, Baidu's digital anchor tech is designed to maximize conversion and user retention. And again, it's all powered by the same deep, multimodal architecture that's driving their core language models. Now, if we zoom out just a bit, this is also Baidu's answer to rising geopolitical pressures. With the U.S. cracking down on exports to Chinese tech firms, Baidu's message at this event was clear. They're not slowing down, they're self-reliant, they're optimized for cost, and they're setting the pace both in China and increasingly on the global stage. But while Baidu's been grabbing attention with its rapid model releases and digital clones in Asia, over in the U.S., NVIDIA just made a huge leap, but in a completely different direction. Instead of chasing the general purpose AI crowd, NVIDIA went deep into a problem that's been frustrating researchers for years, mathematical reasoning. Large language models might be great at chatting, generating stories, and even passing coding interviews, but when it comes to solving complex math problems, especially multi-step ones, they usually start to fall apart. NVIDIA took that challenge head-on with its new OpenMath Nematron series. They've introduced two models, OpenMath Nematron 3.2b and a smaller, more efficient version called the 1.4b Kaggle model. Both are built on top of the Quinn 2.5 architecture and fine-tuned using a dataset called OpenMath Reasoning, which is packed with difficult problems pulled from actual math competitions like the AIME, the Harvard Math Math Mathematics Tournament, and the HLE Math Series. These aren't basic equations. They're the kind of problems that require multiple logical steps and a solid grasp of advanced concepts, the stuff that usually trips up even the most capable LOMs. Now, the 3.2b model is a beast. It has 32.8 billion parameters and was specifically optimized for NVIDIA's own hardware using BF16 tensor operations to maximize performance while keeping memory usage efficient. In its tool-integrated reasoning mode, basically where it can use external tools during the reasoning process, it scored a pass at one accuracy of 78.4%, on AIME24, even more impressive, when using majority voting techniques, it hit 93.3% accuracy. That's industry-leading performance beating out everything else in this space so far. But not everyone has access to data centers stacked with high-end GPUs, right? That's where the 1.4b Kaggle model comes in. It's lighter, 14.8 billion parameters, but it's optimized to punch well above its weight. It was designed specifically for competitive performance, and it actually won the AIMO2 Kaggle competition, which focused on solving advanced math challenges. In chain of thought mode, where the model shows its work step by step, it scored 73.7% .7 on AIME24. Under gen select mode, which generates multiple answers and picks the most consistent one, it pushed that up to 86.7%. That's serious performance from a relatively compact model. What's great about both versions is that they come with full transparency. NVIDIA's made the entire training pipeline open source through their Nemo Skills framework. You can access everything from data generation and training steps to benchmark testing and inference configurations. Whether you're a developer building a next-gen math tutor or someone integrating formal reasoning into a scientific workflow, you get all the tools you need to build on top of what NVIDIA's already done and from an infrastructure standpoint, it's all been optimized to run across NVIDIA's hardware ecosystem, from Ampere to the newer Hopper GPUs. You also get support for Triton Inference Server, CUDA libraries, and TensorRT optimizations, which means you can deploy these models in real-time systems or batch jobs without major latency trade-offs. What's especially clever is the flexibility in how you use them. There's chain of thought mode if you want transparency and step-by-step -step reasoning, Tool integrated reasoning when external problem solving is needed, and Gen Select if you want maximum answer precision. This adaptability makes the models useful not just in academic environments, but also in performance, explainability, and accuracy all matter. So while NVIDIA is solving math like a pro, Baidu's over here cloning humans for live streams. But if you found out your favorite streamer wasn't real, just a digital copy, would you keep watching? Should we be amazed or genuinely concerned? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.